we talk so much about inclusion and nobody has ever talked about this before in, around me. So I'm just curious, like Troy, Daniel, y'all, like what kind of like movie would you love to do? Like what kind of movies would you love to see now? Like that, this is like more introduced to pop culture now. And I feel like hearing a story that maybe we've heard before, but from a different vantage point is so important. Well, I mean, we have so many stories. We have so many more stories about deaf culture to tell. We really can, and we can play any character. And I would love to see more deaf superheroes and maybe adding more characters, like a deaf character in Star Wars. I know, that you was know, amazing. The, the Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Yeah. The Mandalorian, it's amazing. He's the first deaf person on Star Wars. So it's a huge honor, and I applaud him. There's yeah. so many things we have. The deaf community has so a rich history of storytelling. And so I would like to just plant the seed and share these stories. Um, there were st historical stories in slavery times. There was, there's a lot of deaf history, and so we can begin to pick those carrots and bring them forward. And so I really want to change everyone's perspective and show everyone what deaf people went through. Because many folks don't understand, and thanks to CODA, it speaks for itself and it's increasing awareness of the deaf community. And we're bridging two worlds, the hearing and the deaf world, for which for so long were separate. And so we focused on one side, we focused on the other, and where is the center? The center is the coda. And so Amelia was the center of our story that pulled both of these communities together.